Hi everyone, happy Sunday. So I meant to do this of course on Friday. If you watched my kickoff video yesterday, I mentioned that both my husband and I have been sick. Leroy, sweetheart, my husband's painting, uh, staining the front porch, uh, uh, the screen part. And of course the cats aren't allowed out there um, and um, Leroy is very very upset by it and won't leave me alone poor baby I know it's so hard how dare you be denied um, it's cold and drizzly anyway I'm surprised you were out there anyway um, my husband and I have been sick most of the week with some sort of stomach flu I we tested three different times for COVID and it was negative, but I'll be honest, y'all, I really don't know where it would have come from otherwise, um, because <laughs> neither of us had left the house since the previous Thursday. There were a lot of weird symptoms with this one, and it's also been longer lasting than most stomach bugs I get, so still not feeling 100%. Um, I'm actually recording this on Saturday. I um, was going to do a little recording this weekend. Tuesday will be... I'll probably be coloring some type of picture, but it'll either probably be a speed color, probably a speed color, let's be real, um, with just a little bit of, a little bit of a color and chat in there. Um, I'll probably wait till next weekend to do a demo or a full color and chat where I am feeling more myself. But today is the flip through of some of the recent books that I have picked up. I was hoping there was one more that was on the way. From book depository and it is taking its sweet time i may even have to contact them because i just don't know when that sucker is getting to me um so we're just gonna have to wait and do that another time i think uh joshua dunbar is coming out with a new book soon as is alexandra frenzy so i'm you know i i am on pretty much pretty much a no buy but for those two i will make an exception um but past that point in any pre-orders i have i am pretty much on a no buy for the next few months due to um the fundraiser i'm doing this month for a local rescuer of newborn kittens most of them don't have their mother and have to be you know bottle fed or tube fed and basically have around the clock care um most newborns have trouble regulating their body temperature and thus um, she could really uh, an incubator or warmer would really um, help improve their survival rate and she has not had a lot of luck so far this year i think it's it's been just it's been super hard and uh, so i want to help her out so for the whole month of may i am doing a fundraiser to raise enough funds for the incubator I am going to put the information down in the description if you haven't already seen it, along with the kickoff video for that. You can contribute at any point during the month. I do have a coloring book giveaway stretch goals planned, but we will also be doing at least one live stream where we are actively fundraising like we did with uh, the fundraiser last year. So if you can't right now, no worries. Just, you know, um, I'm hoping the live stream fundraisers will will be where um, we can really contribute towards that. So that's going on the whole month of May. And of course, I'm slowing down my purchases for that. And then my brother and I are going to too many games at the end of June. Hopefully, hopefully um, with our N95s and our little air filter and our little uh, CO2 sensor that I'm going to get. So I have some purchases for that I need to make and some money to save up for that. So basically going to be a no buy for pretty much the next few months. So just, just putting that out there. Um, like I said, I may have one more new book flip through like this, but, um, past that point, there are some pre-orders in June that I will get so you may not see another new flip through until June once I get this next set of new books so. anyway let's get started enough of that so first up um, I did purchase The Way Home which was the most recent book at the time for Morgan O'Brien I didn't have any of the Matchstick Mouse series um, but and I said I wasn't gonna buy anymore for a while but 
The Way Home is adorable, and I wanted at least one of the Matchstick Mouse books. So I did pick up the latest one that was just released, uh, which is the Summer Coloring Book. These are a little shorter than average sized coloring books. Let me grab a Jade Summer. They're shorter and not quite as wide, so just FYI, I never pay attention to the size of coloring books when I order them. So hopefully I can <laughs> pass that knowledge along to other people. They are um, Amazon printed. And these are so cute. I've really been enjoying the last few months um, as a page you can put your name. I've really been enjoying pictures that aren't quite as complex the last few months. Let me make sure we get this all right here. Actually, uh, it would be easier if I do that. So here we go. These that are just like little circle cutouts or just pictures that aren't quite as complex where I can just use markers and colored pencil or markers and pastel pencils have really kind of been my my go-to zone the last few months. So um, this book is absolutely perfect. I would also any pictures with flowers in them. Of course, um, yesterday's kickoff video was for the May coloring tag, which is Alphabet Color 2022 um, F. And so flowers, fantasy, flying, um, faces, a lot of these pictures. I mean, a mouse painting, that's, that's as fantasy as we can get there. So, forest. So, there's a lot of pictures in here that would apply for the color along. Look at the little, he's got the little worm with him in a lot of these pictures. That is so cute. So stinking cute. Going on the hikes. There on top of the mountain. The worm must be either his little pet or his little companion, which is stinking adorable. And of course, he's using a little matchstick as a hiking stick, which I think's great. <laughs> that burb does. Uh, that's a strange looking burb, and it also does not look like it knows how to feel about the hugs here. I love his little hat. I could make him any color. I, I mean, I'd probably just make him a regular little brown mouse, but I think I'm going to definitely do his hats like different colors and maybe some patterns and stuff. Like, he, he's styling. He's going to have like a whole closet just full of hats. Of different styles and colors. I can see it now. It's not the same hat all the time. Is he telling ghost stories? <laughs> Look at this. Here. It probably would help. I'm sorry. It probably would help if I zoomed in on these little. Because as you can see. They're not very big pictures at all. Which is fantastic. Um, he's telling ghost stories. Probably about the evil fly swatter. <laughs> or the bug spray. That's why they all look terrified. Salt for the snails. He's got the little buddy there too, which I think is cute. It's some kind of bug, I don't know. So he's got his little travel buddies. All the snails. Lemons? I think. That's a bumpy lemon. <laughs> He's been busy all summer. This is how he pays for his uh, adventures. Selling fruits and nuts. Very cute. 
I definitely want to collect them all, but I think this one will be the one for now until I fill it up and then and then I will this is probably going to be one of those I'll do one and then get another one. I say that until Halloween comes around. Then I will probably pick up the Halloween one, so Oh, he looks so sad. Does he not get any ice cream? No, he did. He did. He's got his tiny little cone right there. Okay. Well, that's, that's fair enough. A little concern there. Like, that seems very unfair. <laughs> that sucker, he does not look happy. What is he pulling his tongue? Oh my goodness. Or is he trying to eat something and so he's playing tug of war with it? Maybe they're playing tug of war. Maybe that's what it is. Not real sure why he has... Oh, he's holding the scarf. Okay. I was like, why would he be wearing a scarf? It's summer. <laughs> he looks very unsure about that water. Oh, well. <laughs> Got pretty brave pretty quick. Man, that initial water, unless you're in a heated pool or something, that initial water is cold. And as good as I might feel during the summer, it's still like a huge... Just, oh, you sit there and freeze for a few minutes so you finally warm up. I love to swim, but... And nice little, um... Excuse me, I didn't mean to hit the mic. And a nice little heat, uh, well, not necessarily heated, but chlorinated pools where I can see the bottom and I can see underneath me. I cannot swim in, like, a lake or open water like that. I just can't do it. I can get into the ocean, I can get into the water a little bit, but when I get to about my waist is about as far as I can go, because then I just get nervous about it. If I can't see what's around me, I am very nervous about it. Well, good gracious, why is he rafting around when he's got like a little witch's broom he can fly around in? I would just be using the broom all the time if it were me, but, you know. Looks like they got little marshmallows on the edge of them. So, yeah. Very cute book. Maybe, maybe this weekend. I always have big dreams when I think about sitting down to color, and then it just never turns out that way. <sighs> Whose channel did I see this on? Hang on. Aha, I've got it. I saw this on Live Long and Colors channel. She was doing a uh, book and supply haul, and I had not seen this one before. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so adorable. This fits right in with the uh, type of coloring I'm really digging right now. And it's just so stinking cute. So I'm sorry to those of you that I might enable with these, because like I said, maybe these are commonly known. But I just haven't seen them around that often. This is Dragons with Pets. Looks like it's part of a series uh, called Dragons and Beasties. It is by Becca Gollins. Well, it says by Dragons and Beasties, illustrated by Becca Gollins. It is, I think, basically an Amazon, regular Amazon printed regular size coloring book. This was from back in 2018. I know, I know Tammy's going to see this, and I don't know if she's already aware of these books. She might be, but she's probably going to come get me. <laughs> she's going to get me, I think. These are so cute. So they're simple, but they are just so stinking adorable. 
and you can just color them. You don't have to worry about, look at him cuddling with his kitty. I mean, I just can't, y'all. I can't. They're so cute. All the little ferrets. Ooh, ferrets. There's another good one for the month. All kinds of good ones for this one. I mean, it's a fantasy book anyway, so... You got all kinds. Like the little... Uh, are those cockatoos? I think that's it. Hopefully nobody gets mad if I said that wrong. I just love that they all have, like, you know, these fantasy dragons with these pretty normal pets. It's so cute. So cute. They have the best stuff in their face. <laughs> that one's really stuff in his face. That <laughs> cookie's like half the size of his entire body. Oh, it's so precious. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Sticking his tongue out the snack. Oh my gosh. That looks like a little fox. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, well, maybe people don't have foxes as pets, but they just look like nor like typical animals, I guess. <laughs> Y'all, I just can't. I can't with these. How they're all striking similar poses. It's just beyond cute. Oh, and she groups the portraits and the landscapes together, y'all. Even better. Even better. <laughs> the flying squirrel. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. See? When I'm laying on the couch and a cat lays on me, I don't have to worry about things like this. But if I had like a, you know, an elephant or a very large dog, I imagine this is how I would look most of the time. Oh, it's so cute. little nest of gold and the chicken or in the little nest in the little uh, hay nest straw nest there I cannot believe I hadn't found this before this is just this is hitting all the buttons oh look at the little bat that one's got a bit of a pattern on them. <laughs> Try to look at them like upside down. The dragons and cats obviously are my favorite here. Oh my gosh. That's quite, it feels like there's quite a few pictures in this too. Maybe 32-ish? 30? 32? Pretty good deal. So I had to also get the other book that she has in this series or in, in this called Color Dragons and Beasties. Live Long and Color. I wish I could think of her name. Had mentioned there was another book she hadn't gotten yet. And uh, of course I had to go ahead and get it. This was also from 2018. But I, I took a quick glance at this one, too, and I was just like, 
<sighs> Guess I'm getting this one too. <laughs> Pretty much me anytime I see a birthday cake. I, I gotta agree with this one. That is pretty much my reaction to. So this is mostly dragons just doing, I guess, dragons with a little extra, so to speak. So you got this one sipping his, I guess, latte. It's a little chilly outside. Oh, so it's not just dragons, I guess. It's just all kinds of, that's what it says, dragons and beasties. Oh, Tammy would like this one. On the side of the die there. That is cool. Casting some spells. I imagine that one's like the size of a fly and like you know you get the fly buzzing around you you go swat it and then you see this thing but it's like the pink bunnies and I was mentioning yesterday if I'm seeing pink bunnies in the yard I need to go lay down if I'm seeing this flying around my head instead of flies I need to go to bed because something is going wrong in my brain something's going real wrong boy <laughs> Do you lift, bro? <laughs> that's that's the gym dragon right there. Never skips leg day. Never skips leg day. Cuddling with his little rabbit. I feel like he was waiting on the first day of school. Now, that one looks similar to one in the other books, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Um like waiting on the first day of school and the little mouse is coming along like I said they're not complicated pictures at all but they're just adorable they're just fun I could I can already just see pink and purple mice here oh, look at that little like I think it's supposed to be a giraffe it's like a giraffe mixed with a horse I'll, I think most of these would certainly fit into the fantasy um, genre for the month. Oh, that's so cute. I want I want to do like a birthday type picture, and but I just don't want to like set myself up for something complicated, so I may just color that one this month. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what he did. I don't know what they're, why are they taking away his stuffy? It's just so sad. Ooh, I like that. Kind of a tiger striped one. That would be fun. A dog dragon? A dragon? <laughs> Or a dog. <laughs> a drog. There you go. Oh, I like that. Makes me think of the mouse guard book. He ain't playing, man. I don't know what he's about to hit, but I'd be running in the other direction. Yeah, there's, it seems like there's a couple dupes here. So if you get both of them, just be aware. But that's okay. I Like I said, I am perfectly fine with that. She probably did this one first. And then decided to do the other one. And a couple of the images just fit real well. And that's fine. See, I learn. So you, so you don't have to learn. You can. <laughs> I show you guys so you, you know going into it. Aww. Going on a trip. Little dragon family. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that is a fancy dragon right there. Almost like flower petals. Aww. Little baby uh, Griffith. Now, see, that almost looks like a cat and a dragon right there. <laughs> I just love the focused look on his face. Or he's big mad because she... Wait, no, it looks like he's winning. No, he's losing. He's losing by a lot. Oh, he's big mad. Big mad. Having a little snack and catch up here. <laughs> I love the one that's coloring. He's on the front cover. Obviously, I I am drawn to that one. So there you go couple fun little, like I said, books that I just hadn't seen before and had to snap up before I really uh, stuck myself um, on my no-buy there. Alright, so I finally got a Disney book. <laughs> I finally went, got one of the, however you say it, I'm going to say Hatchet Heroes. Um, I finally got one of the Hatchet Heroes Disney Color by Number books. I had been waiting and waiting on these. I just didn't like the idea of spending so much on a book that was double-sided. That just drove me crazy. I was just, you know, especially if you were getting them from France and paying for shipping and stuff. And some of them could be $30 or $40 a book if you didn't find a deal. And I just, I was like, I just can't do that on a double-sided book. Um, if it was color by number single-sided, I'd be okay. Even though there's 100 images in it, I just... It, I, I fought with it for months. But, obviously, I wanted the feline, or felinos, as it says here. This is not the French version, is it? I don't think. I think this is... I don't know. This might be the Spanish version. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, that's fine. No, French version. No, Spanish version. It is Spanish version. Okay, that's fine. So I've been wanting this one for a while. It was on my wish list on Amazon. I just, again, did not want to pay so much for it. But then I found it on Book Depository for like 20 something dollars. And I thought, well, if I'm going to have one, I want the one with the cats in it. So I did get this one. And I got to say, I'm really stoked about it. Um, I do have some different... I've seen so many people try these in different ways with paint, with colored pencil, with water-based markers. So I am um, eager to try some different ways to see what I like. Now, this is not going to be a typical flip through because um, it's you really can't see what's in here. I might show some of the completed pictures in the back, but I might have to turn my head <laughs> because I don't want to see them. Um, but I'll warn you here in a minute if I'm going to do that. Alright, so if you were curious about these Disney books, by the way, they are taller than a standard book and about the same width, maybe just a hair smaller. There are a hundred images in them, but again, they are, um, they are double-sided, which again, it just drives me crazy. I would have gladly paid for 50 images single-sided for, for this price. I would have. Maybe not everybody would, but I would have. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe that's the difference there. And so, when you're looking in here, these are all like, they, they may look like something else. And you can't really see them because they're very light gray lines. 
it may look like something completely different but then when you go by the colors you get your um, you get your image and um, you get your color key down here which is a very vast color key <laughs> a very uh, detailed color key it seems I wonder why there are numbers and then there are letters anybody familiar with the Disney books can you tell me because I I'm curious I bet just looking at these the numbers are the animal itself and the letters are the backgrounds so I guess um, I see people using the black outlines I guess if you want to black outline them first you can do it that way knowing you know what's the actual picture and then what's the background again I'm going to try a lot of different things with this to see how I like to color these but there's obviously a number of different ways these don't look super complicated either which I'm happy with I might, you know, if I find a good sale on one in particular, I would like to have the, I think there's a villains one out now. I would really kind of like to have that one because I, I love Disney villains. Um, but other than that, I'm not going to collect a whole bunch of these just because I don't have room for them. And they are, you know, like I said, unless you can find them on sale, they can be pretty expensive. So um, I will probably only own a couple at a time. If I ever get through these, these will take me forever and a day. I ever get through these um, I uh, will obviously purchase more but um, the I, I am envious of those people that have like all these all these books even the ones that are not Disney look awesome um, so I have to be careful for me because if I don't I will have to buy another bookshelf just for these so I have to be careful <laughs> all right so I'm gonna show some of the finished pictures in the back and I'm going to try to turn my head, see if I can do this and turn my head. So if you don't want to see what the finished pictures look like, look away right now. Okay, where are we at? Right here? All right. So I can kind of see the first ones. I'm going to turn my head too. <laughs> All are like, this is so stupid, Michelle. Okay, there you go. There you go. way my memory is lately to be quite honest I could look at these and completely forget what they are but I do give them credit I mean you are getting a lot of images for the price of these books I might add the villains one to my wish list and then like I said for now we'll just stick with those two eventually I'll get it But I do want to see some flip throughs of it because I know these sometimes the designs of them can differ vastly so I want to make sure it has a setup I would like and yes I do plan <laughs> like the other books I do plan on coloring in this hopefully this weekend I'll probably start off with the water based markers just because they're easiest but I've seen people use paint and pencils and I'm not going to remember these. Oh my gosh. But see, they're pretty simple pictures, and I am really okay with that. For this being my first Disney book like this, I'm really okay with that. So, um, and they tell you where they're from, too, which is cool. Though it's in Spanish, most of these I can probably figure out. So, all right, you can look back now. All right, so there are my flip throughs for the week what I have coming like I said I do believe Joshua Dunbar and Alexander Frenzies are both about to release some new books in May I am going to try to get those and there is a book for kids that Hannah Carlson released I do not know how to pronounce it but it's the book that's yellow and it's supposed to be for kids but it is super cute I think it's like party or something is probably what it stands for and that's the one I ordered on Book Depository that seems to be just taking, I, I don't know if it's coming by boat and horse or what's happening, but it, it's taking its sweet time getting here. Um, so what I will probably do, unless there are, unless there is just a book I absolutely cannot wait on. If any of my favorite artists come out with a cat related, just cats, 
then y'all know what's going to happen. You know, I, I'm not going to sit here and just, I'm going to be realistic. <laughs> but what I will probably do is do, um, if those others come out soon, then you will see one more full new book, new to me book flip through. And then um, we might dig into my collection some because it's been a while since I've shown some of those really need to clean up my playlist they are a mess my coloring book collection still shows 2021 on it i need to update that so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this like i said hopefully i can do a speed color or something on tuesday that's the goal but we'll just have to see how i feel tomorrow so all right hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend and talk to you soon bye for now